Good morning, everyone. Dragman44 here. I, I come across items of interest every now and then. And uh, here not too long ago, I, I come up with this wood splitter here that uh, seemed to uh, need to find a home over at my son's father-in-law's house. We got up, went about the business again. They're all fired up and everything, you know. And we found out that the hydraulic pump is just about worn from out. Our project for today is we're going to see if we've got the fittings and stuff to change out the pump. Give you a quick overview. It really is not too bad of a, an old splitter. I don't know what tonnage it is. I'm going to estimate it's probably a, a 20 to 24 ton, something like that. Five horsepower and 11, 11 gallons per minute pump, uh, two stage. It's got some bends and tears in it, you know, but uh, nothing real bad. Fender's bent. The block in the back actually has been bent back just a little bit, but we're just going to let that go. It's going to split 99% of what we need to split anyway. And the cool thing, this is one of those tilt-ups. You pull the pin there and it just hinges this guy up so it's a uh, horizontal and vertical splitter. But we're going to go back to the business of uh, popping this off here and seeing if what I found today in my local farm store is going to depend entirely on the shaft size and the bolt, uh, bolt pattern. But I'm almost certain, you know, uh, it's going to, uh, to interchange. But this is essentially the same pump, just a different brand. Layla. How you doing, Layla? Good girl. Layla likes being in the shop. Now this here is a half inch. I can't tell yet if it's an ORB fitting or a pipe uh, pipe thread. It's feeling like it's a pipe thread. Yep, it's definitely a pipe thread. It's not an ORB. And ORB stands for O-ring boss. And uh, they just literally tighten right up and then just almost a quarter of a turn and an o-ring will make the seal but this is a pipe thread next thing we'll do is we'll take that love joy coupling off Jeb love joy coupling is that um, usually have three fingers on each side and it's got a star that goes in between them it's kind of a cushioning uh, a joint now we gotta get the flange off of here We're fortunate enough to have Northern Hydraulics two or three towns north of us, but it's a two-hour round trip. But we've got a local farm store that handles the Delavan Hydraulics, and so this has the same characteristics, 11 gallon per minute uh, gear pump, two stage, so it should be just fine. So now as long as the bolt pattern is the same. I'm just going to barely snug those, because when I put that Lovejoy coupling in there, we might have to kind of bounce that a little bit to align that just a little bit better. Just snug. Old Layla's down there wondering why I'm taking so long. This is a Lovejoy, typical Lovejoy coupling. Uh, you have two halves that have the three stubs and then you have the insert that goes in here. And that's a kind of a, not a rubber, but it's a composite material that takes up the shock of initial rotation. And this here, you know, being in a hydraulic circuit, there's not really pressure, but it immediately goes to 100% load as soon as you pull the trigger and start rotation. So you want that little bit of give right there to minimize that. You know it's too good to be true. Everything's not going to be just absolutely perfect. The old pump had a three-quarter inch OD fitting for the return line, non-pressurized return line. The new one has a seven-eighths OD non-pressurized return line. So we're going to use some 15% silver. Now, if you're brazing refrigerant lines or air conditioning lines and you have any any uh, idea you're going to get them as hot as what I've got in this one here, you always want to uh, purge that line with, a, with an inner atmospheric gas, kind of like nitrogen. Because what happens when you heat this copper so intensely hot, you're actually oxidizing and building a black flaky substance on the inside of the fitting. I don't really care about this. It's going in that uh, little hydraulic system over there, so I'll be able to clean this little short piece. 
but if you're putting an entire refrigeration circuit together or an entire air conditioning circuit together and you build up all that oxidation on the inside of the copper line due to that intense heat, uh, you're going to put contaminants that's going to start plugging up your filter dryer or your filter strainer or whatever. So you want to minimize that uh, potential. But and like I tell you guys, I'm always a sucker for a bargain. Here about a year before last or so, I was at a farm auction, which I love going to. And I picked up this B-tank right here, completely full B-tank, complete with regulator and, and everything, uh, $2.50. It was completely full, uh, and there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. You know, you always keep your eyes open for a bargain, you know. So everything's tightened up, everything's uh, bled, everything's ready to go. We're going to uh, see if this thing will fire up, see if it'll work. So let's get this set here. been splitting wood all my life but never ever with a factory wood splitter this is the very first time I've ever fiddled with a manufactured wood splitter and I have no idea what to expect with it in the vertical position but I'm gonna give it a shot see what happens
long story short, uh, it does adequately. But I tell you one thing, after using that old homemade thing of ours, you know, for all these years, I'm really quite spoiled. But uh, I don't particularly care for that vertical splitting. It just ain't right to kneel down or in the snow, in the wet ground like it is here, and try to split wood. You know, you have to have something to, you know, to kneel on, you know, keep yourself from getting all wet, you know, and nasty. I guess I, I, I'm kind of doing a pretty poor review on it, you know. But uh, it's actually did quite well as far as the power behind the splitter is concerned. I did find the model number up underneath the frame, and it is a 35 ton, which really surprised me. Uh, of course, it's got a 5 inch, uh, five inch cylinder. Whenever we first brought this home, it would barely break straight grained pine. Uh, I mean, it was just worn out. The hydraulic pump is either worn out or there's something internal wrong with it. So my son's father-in-law, hopefully he's going to be excited because this baby's going to go to live at his house. And that's a good thing. That having been said, I tell you what, this is Tractor Man 44, and I am out of here.